Hello and welcome to another Blender Tutter tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you um, the basics of setting up armatures and uh, in the next tutorial I'll show you how to move them around but uh, let's get started with setting them up. So first let's go into front view and move our default cube up a little bit. Right there is probably pretty good and then press Shift D and Z move it down right about there and size it up along the z-axis let's move this down a little bit more shift D again X along the z-axis then size it up along the x-axis shift D X shift D Z Move it over, rotate it on the y axis 90 degrees. Shift D X. And we have a very, very, very basic human figure here. Um, now, let's select all of these and hit Control J and hit join select and meshes and what that did is in edit mode now they're all one object so let's hit subdivide and subdivide that once and let's go back into object mode and say add armature hit the Z key to go into wireframe mode and then go into edit mode select everything and size it up right there looks good now select this end and we are going to make some armatures press E to extrude halfway down the arm and then the rest of the way same thing on this side the head and the legs alright that looks pretty good now let's go back into object mode select this object first and then the armatures and press control P make parent to armature name groups now select just the armatures and come down here to the armature editing options and click names alright now let's select this and go into edit mode <coughs> and down here in the links and materials you see the vertex groups buttons here uh, go the arrow right next to where it says bone point zero zero nine and hit bone when you pop up the menu now deselect everything hit B and select these vertices now come down here again and hit assign <coughs> alright now these vertices are assigned to this bone which means when you move this phone bone these vertices will move with it now let's chain let's go to the next bone which is this one let's hit A and then B make sure you hit A first or else you'll be assigning on the last foot bone and that won't help you hit assign move on to the next bone also make sure you're on the right bone Right. I'm just going to select these vertices for this one. Uh, and that may not be the best idea, but I'm not going for perfection here, so that's what I'm going to do.
same thing on this side. And finally, the last bone. Alright, now that we have that, let's go into object mode. Select this, go into pose mode. And when we rotate it, the object moves with it. So, now if we went into side view, and we rotated it, like that, and we selected this one and rotated it like that, and then we went into top view, and rotated it, and can rotate that one and now we sort of have a guy sitting Indian style that was an awful example of that but um Like I said, a terrible example. I did that very badly, but... Um... Sort of... Sort of a guy, Indian style. And I mean, I'm, I'm, like I said, this is this is terrible. I'm just showing you how to move the armatures around because. So I mean, you can put them in a pose, even though it's a terrible pose and and it looks terrible. But um, I'm just showing you it can be done. So then under it, and it looks like a weird guy in a weird pose. But uh, that's the basics of armatures, and uh, it was pretty easy to move them like that, whereas if you hadn't had armatures, it would have been really hard. If you push uh, auto IK and then rotate, um, see how it's, uh, it doesn't show it too well there, but... Um, if I select this bone, that bone, and rotate, it sort of rotates that other one, whereas if I didn't have that on, it wouldn't. You can also put x-ray on so you can see the bones. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to render it real fast, and in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to um, take a little bit higher poly model and uh, render that one, uh, 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 or, or put them in different poses. So, um, thanks for watching.